Here's Moore's first pass attempt. It's caught by Marshall, stiff arming on Revis right near the first down at the 40 yard line. Well, there's the Bear defense, man to man coverage. That's a matchup I came to see. Revis one on one with Marshall, who pushes off, breaks to the inside, ball thrown perfectly. Brandon Marshall needs to get going in this game for the Dolphins to win it. That matchup, Revis and Marshall, that's worth the ticket. Yeah, now you can see Marshall, 6'4", 230. Boy, he has that strength to play against Revis. When you try to change a lot of plays at the line of scrimmage. Now we have more from the 30. Back shoulder throw caught by Marshall on Revis. First down gain of 20 for Miami. Boy, Matt Moore showed great poise there. And Brandon Marshall looks like he's been working with Moore all year. Watch him get a release outside down the far sideline. And Matt Moore knew exactly what Brandon Marshall was going to do. This is the first time I've seen Revis one-on-one -on -one with Marshall. Remember last year, Antonio Cromartie matched up with Marshall. So far, Marshall is meeting the challenge. He is playing like a monster. Yeah, he better stay in the game. You don't want to see him thrown out if you're a Dolphin fan. Well, we mentioned it earlier. Marshall talked about, I don't want to be known as the beast anymore, which is a nickname Jaws gave him in his rookie season in Denver. I want to be known as the monster. And he said you need to bring some anger, some passion to this team. He said he was willing to get kicked out in the second quarter of this game. He didn't back down from that last night when we talked to him, but his coach Tony Sperano said, we need you in the game. We need you to be passionate and focused. So far, he's done that. You got him one-on-one -on -one down at the bottom of the screen again. On second and goal, Moore holds on, holds on. For Fasano, the tight end, incomplete. That's the second time Matt Moore had plenty of time, but Take a look at number 31 at the top of the screen, Charles Clay. He's going to end up wide open on the backside. That's the second time. Marshall alone with Revis, top of the screen. Third and goal. Moore for Marshall. Broken up by Revis. What a battle. It's Frazier and Ali out there, Jaws. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Two of the best. Bump and run down in the red zone. Six foot five Marshall. Timing's just perfect. And Revis pokes it out with his left arm. Yeah, Rex Ryan loves that one. That's going to be a great matchup to watch all night long. You see the quick hands of Darrell Revis. Boy, talk about his feet and his hip turn. Boy, he showed excellent hand movement right there. From 23, Dan Carpenter. Who had a 22 yarder blocked against Houston. Knocks it in, and the first points belong to the Dolphins. Miami, 3-0. I just don't know how it's not pass interference. If you Great play, play by Revis, Jaws. Yeah, but if you play with fire, John, you're going to get burned. This guy has incredible ball skills. Watch Marshall. He's working up the field. I, I just don't know how that's not pass interference. I know it's... Uh, Incidental contact, whatever you want to say. Revis is the best in football, and he's opportunistic when the ball's his way, but that's a lot of congestion to me, Jaws. Darrell Revis, third pick six of his career, 16th interception of his career, and it ties the longest interception return in Jets history, 100 yards. Nick Folk adds the extra point. The other 100-yarder 15 years ago, Aaron Glenn of the Jets against the Dolphins. And Revis, the contact with Marshall, the pick, and all the way home for Rex and company. 2008 against Arizona, 2009 against Carolina, Darrell Revis's prior touchdowns. And now this line in the Jets record book, the 100-yard interception return, as the battle with Marshall and Revis continued. And that time, the physical play of Revis got away with it he sure did there was a lot of contact Mike well beyond five yards down the field a lot of jostling no call Nick with the tackle 
This is a penalty. It's always been a penalty. And Rebus is the best in football, but you can't let him put his arms around guys and pull their jerseys. I just think the officials missed that call, surprisingly so, in that situation. And Marshall and Coach Dayball feel the same way. But Darrell Rebus, if you step too close to the fire, he's going to burn you. Don't like that call at all. Missed call, I should say. If it's not pass interference, certainly it's contact five yards down from the line of scrimmage. Well, there's so plenty of go. rules. They could have picked one rule and called it. <laughs> Just a heartbreaker for the Miami offense after they got the turnover on the kickoff. Achilles in the secondary. Antonio Cromartie is usually the guy we see the ball going at, but it's been Revis so far involved. Man to man, giving up a half foot to Brandon Marshall on this night. Fell in that time. Dolphins do not huddle. Moore out of the pocket. Marshall's wide open. Brandon Marshall got past Cromartie. Could not stay in bounds. Oh, he had just a foot race with Jim Leonard. He couldn't stay in bounds. First down, and Miami wants to keep the gas pedal down. This is what Matt Moore can do for your offense. We open talking about the mobility of Matt Moore, the ability to extend the play. Here's the ISO, Brandon Marshall. Camardi loses him because Matt Moore has broken outside the pocket. This is an excellent job by Matt Moore finding Brandon Marshall down the field, but you got to stay in bounds, big fella. You got six. And Cromartie's got to keep his coverage. You got to plaster onto your receivers. Antonio Cromartie has really struggled this year as a New York Jet. Timeout taken here by Miami. There was a 46 yard play. Brandon Marshall, bottom of the screen on Revis. Moore goes that way through the hands of Marshall incomplete and we've seen a lot of that in the red zone with Brandon Marshall this year yeah no question Mike coming into tonight's game he's been targeted seven times in the red zone only had one reception for a touchdown but a good job by Matt Moore gets the ball out a little bit on the back shoulder but Brandon Marshall has to come up with this catch it goes through his hand the Jets came with the total blitz the middle was open should have been a touchdown Marshall can't hold on It's a killer. You got to make this play. This is one that's going to give you the lead. This ball is maybe just a hair behind him, but you got to come up with that catch. Well, he scored four touchdowns since he's been in Miami, and the drops have been a problem. Somebody said 53 drops, whatever that number was, in the last three or four years. If you don't get it done in the red zone, you might have to look up Hartline or Devon Best. You have other targets. They've gone to him three times in key situations so far tonight in the red zone. They're over three, and one of them was intercepted, run back for 100 yards. They need the beast or the monster, whatever your name is, to be a monster in those situations. I know he's disappointed in himself. Short kids coming in, the big matchup. It's been pretty good so far, John. Oh, it sure has. Early in the game, an under route. Marshall pushes off inside of five yards. That's legal. And then later, a back shoulder fade. Look at the competition between these two great performers. Marshall gets it done on the back shoulder, then in the red zone. Darrell Revis with that left hand, he pokes the ball out. I thought it was B.I., but you got to give Revis credit. And I said it, I'll said i say it again, Jaws. If you stay too close to the fire, you're going to get burned by that guy, Revis. Great matchup. It's one-on-one -on, -one on the bottom of the screen. After a gain of three, more. Looking that way, coming back towards Marshall, who catches it at the 24-yard line for a first down. Well, what a terrific job by Matt Moore hanging in the pocket and allowing Marshall to work the route. This is a deep route. There's a lot of pressure. You'll see it right here. Revis on Marshall. Does an excellent job at the top of the route right there, working back to the quarterback, giving Moore that window to throw the football into. That's a really polished route there by Brandon Marshall. Dolphins having a hard time getting plays yeah. in, and you don't want to get to the line of scrimmage without much time against this Jet defense. Marquise Cole. Well, the Dolphins, they went to their best receiver three times on third down in the red zone. Revis got after Marshall once. Second time, he took it back to the house. And then later in the second quarter, again, all-out blitz. You go to your best receiver. Unfortunately for the Dolphins, the Jets have Darrell Revis. Darrell Revis had nothing to do with that drop ball. Got to make that catch, plain and simple. Wasn't Matt Moore aware that his linemen were downfield and it would have been a, a penalty on top of that? Uh, throw it away behind the line of scrimmage. 
Miami goes the extra offensive lineman, six offensive linemen. Just don't lose yardage. Carpenter can make a 50 plus. Moore going downfield for Marshall. Incomplete. Doesn't go up and win it in the air as Antonio Cromarty is chasing Marshall. And I think this is one of those plays where you got to go get the ball at its highest point. You'll see Marshall match on Cromarty, throws his hand up. Take me away from him, but right there, go up and get your hands up. Go up and take that ball at the highest point. Don't let it come down to you. Cromartie's able to go over his back, knock the ball down. That's when you need your six foot five receiver right. to play six foot five and use his wingspan, but you got to give Cromartie credit. Excellent play on the ball. For the Jets. Second and eight for Matt Moore. Had time. Has Marshall. What a hit, but he hangs on. Jim Leonard took him down, but it's a first down at the 36. Say what you want, but he made a great catch there. Matt Moore hung in the pop pocket and made an outstanding throw across the middle. And if you're a young receiver out there, if you want to play in this league, you have to be able to go inside, catch the ball away from your body, and protect it on impact. Oh, that's a great job by Brandon Marshall and a knife tackle. A knife tackle. By Leonard. Great catch. Marshall. They haven't drafted a quarterback in the first round since 1983. So they might start by taking one early in the draft. Well, where do you think you find these guys? They're hard to come by. From the 11, third and four. Moore's throw for Marshall, fighting with Revis. Pulled it away and ruled a catch for Brandon. At the 17 yard line. You know, back to that quarterback situation. Everyone knows you have to have. A quarterback, a guy that could lead your football team. But watch this play right here. Marshall once again on Darrell Rivas. Uses his strength, his arms, dual possession on the play, but Marshall rips it away. Big first down for the Dolphins backed up. Marshall, and he gets that. Yeah, watch the ball as he comes down there. Rex looking at it with challenge. Again, the advantage you get as a home team or the inequity for the road teams with this replay rule. They show the close looks over and over on the great high definition boards here. The New York Jets are challenging the ruling on the field of a complete pass. As Marshall and Rebus talk about it, Tony Coretti will get a look at it. Replay challenge. Last play. After reviewing the play, the receiver did not maintain possession of the football. Worthwhile challenge by Rex Ryan and the Jets. As the ball came down, it turned from the side to the point. Couldn't see if Marshall's hand was clearly under there. And with the movement plus being on top of the ball, that's what Correnti calls. And Miami punts it away. It's called a catch on the field. Boy, I don't know what a catch yeah, is. Yeah, anymore. I agree. This is one tough customer. He leads the Jets in tackles. Second and 15. More, a lot of pitter patter with his feet there in the pocket as that pass is incomplete with Marshall well covered and Marcus Dixon bringing the Jets pressure. Yeah, that's for his six year career. Outstanding receiver, just hasn't found a home as an every down back in Miami or New Orleans. Marshall spinning away from the Revis tackle to get right at the first down line at the 45. So Brandon Marshall with most of his work on Darrell Revis, although one completion on Cromartie tonight. Over 100 yards. When you look at Revis, you're going to give up a couple catches, but Miami, zero touchdowns. Well, they say it's Revis Island, and I can see why. Comparing him to Deion Sanders, probably the right thing to do. Watch his coverage rotate all over the place. They really don't care where these safeties end up. They'll put everybody into the short side of the field because they know they have Darrell Revis at the bottom of the screen playing man-to-man. -man. And I like this music too, Jaws. <laughs> but they can flood Very other brilliant. zones with Jets and leave Revis all by himself. He just gives them so much coverage flexibility. It's amazing. You know, coming into tonight's game, he'd only given up five completions in five games. That's one a game.
He's probably seen more Incredible. action tonight yes. than yep. he's seen all year long. I agree. And it, it was almost like he heard Brandon Marshall's message from Miami, how he's going to be a monster and he's going to go crazy in this game. And it's like Reba said, okay, I'll be there. Well, we were out of practice on Saturday, and number 19, Patrick Turner, you know, uh, was wearing that uh, uh, Brandon Marshall number. There were a couple fights out of practice, so, you know, Darrell Rebus was already getting ready on Saturday for this matchup. Well, that was the one of the intriguing things, as you look at Marshall against Rebus tonight and what happened when they've been matched up. Marshall has two other catches, but four of them when guarded by Rebus. Jaws, he got upset with the guy on the show team who was giving him the look and pretending to be Brandon Marshall in practice. And we asked, he said, Rebus gets upset when that guy doesn't give him the proper look, when he does something wrong. Because Rebus studies so hard his opponent, he knows where the depth of his route should be, where his landmark should be. And if he's not getting a good picture, he takes it out on the scout team. That's why he got upset. Buck 18 left as Moore picks up the first down. And there you see the Rebus career numbers. Amazing football player. Oof. We're watching Matt Moore here in this last minute, and Moore, as long as he can stay healthy, will have this job. He gets hit as he throws from Marshall down the sideline with Revis in coverage, and the pass is incomplete.